All right, hey guys. So some of you have asked how to create custom parameters um, in XCS, and today I'm gonna to go ahead and show you how to create them, save them, export them, and upload them. So if you wanna go from computer to computer, we can. So in order to get started, I'm just gonna go on here and just put some random text on the screen. And since we're going to do the engraving settings, um, so whatever you you have the output set to, score, engraver, cut, when you go to save the parameters, that's the operation it's going to populate for. So if we, um, I don't really have anything set for score or anything saved, but if you switch it to engraved, you can see I have a bunch of different settings here. Because typically I only do my settings for engravings. Um, now I do have some cut profiles um, saved as far as that goes for this machine. Um, and now we can, we'll explain that later as you can actually um, select what machine your settings populate for. So here I have it set to blue light. We're just gonna go ahead and do some um, settings I would do for stainless steel. Let's see, we'll do just 100% power. We'll do 80 speed and 300 lines per second and we'll do two passes. All right, so now that that's set, we wanna save that. We're gonna click on this actual box with an arrow key here on the right hand side. And it's gonna be a new setting. We're just gonna call it stainless steel black text. Now there's actually a trick um, for the stainless steel engraving. We'll go over it later, so stay tuned. Um, Cause if you actually go to process it like this, I'll just go ahead and show you. Sorry, I'm getting off topic. But if you go to process it like this, you're not gonna get uh, the dark markings like you want. So I've got another video up, which is actually separating the text. Um, it just changed on how you do that, so. Um, we'll do that at another time. But if you can see up here on the right, now we have stainless steel black text marked. Um, now if you go down here on to manage settings, you're gonna see this pop up. You can actually have the cloud where you can save up to 30 um, different settings at this time. And I'm gonna go ahead and select these all. I'm just gonna delete them. It's gonna ask you if you want to or not, so. Just for purposes here, we're gonna go ahead and select all, and we're gonna to go to try to batch sync to cloud, but we can't because we are only allowed to 30. So I'm gonna to have to deselect 11 here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. So now we can do that, and it's gonna put up the 30 in there. So we come over here and we can see everything. Um, okay, so there's that option, and you can select as many as you want, you can delete them, whatever you want to. So I'm just gonna go ahead and delete these guys again. Now to save them locally, so that way you can save them for later, just in case you're you're updating the software, you wanna make sure that you have these, you don't lose them. Um, we're actually going to export. And as you can see here, we're just gonna come in here. I'm just gonna go into my D drive and Batch settings, oh, we're in February, February 4th. That's how I like to um, name my files, just the date that I'm doing them on. So now if we were going to actually delete all these. So now we have no settings in our library. Um, again, to get to this, you're just gonna come up over here. So now we don't have anything here. Um, we're going to come up here to manage settings and we're going to do a import. So click on the import, click the plus sign. And I'm going to come up here. This is the files that we just, uh, just saved. Click confirm. And now we have 41 settings in here again. So again, when you want to do, say, say we did, um, another test and we did it at 50 millimeters per second and we like that one better. 
Now we can come up here and actually save this to black engrave stainless darker. So we'll just call it darker. Um, so you can go in there and uh, adjust it so you can adjust them lighter, dark, whatever you want to really name them. Um, so that's that's one way and you can come in here and you can see this. So on here, here's the tricky part. Hopefully you guys are still watching. You can only have 25 settings in here. So I'm not really sure why that is, but the, um, as far as right now at this time, there's no way to select a setting from here, see if we have a hundred here. There's no way to select settings and send them to um, that list. There's only 25 that you can select from. So there's only 25 here. So sometimes what you're gonna have to do until you can get a hold of X tool and have them update this. Um, it's best to basically say if you have 42 here, um, keep them in batches of 25. So if you have say Tumblr settings, select them as tumblers and load in your tumbler settings when you're going to go ahead and do them and say you have 25 different tumbler settings when you go to um, select them from the, the right hand side you'll have just those those colors available um, until we have the option to actually come in here and make little libraries and say we got tumblers and we've got stainless and then we can send those to our favorites um, but it's all it's all part of part of the process of making pro things better so thank you guys for watching hopefully it helped you guys so real quick i'm going to go ahead and delete a bunch of these just to show you um so now we're down to 29 let me go ahead and delete a couple more Okay, so now we're down to 25. Now if we come over here, we're gonna have all 25 of those ones that we just saved, um, that we left in there. So again, that's an easy way to be able to select them. Otherwise, there's really no way to just say select this and send it to can Canvas. But here the associate device, um, sorry, it's so late into the, the program here. Um, you can deselect them all. And I use this for the F1 Ultra, so I can go ahead and confirm. And then when I when I go to use that setting, it's not going to pop up when I'm connected to an S1. So again, you can specifically set these to specific machines. Um, you can export them one at a time. Uh, you can rename them in here, but we are uh, limited to how many characters. I think we're pretty much, yeah pretty much tapped out right there so again keep that in mind when you're naming things um, you might have to keep a ledger to make things easier for finding your settings um, hope that helps some of you guys thanks for watching